Hey guys, hey guys, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you tips on if you're starting cheerleading in rec for your school or competition. See, I do, it doesn't really matter, but I do competition, um, cheerleading. So, um, first, if you, like, just to, like, for practice, just wear, uh, your hair and a very tight um pony like really back with sometimes you could put hairspray with it if like your hair like is really hard or if your hair is curly today i would need hairspray with my hair is really messy i didn't brush it today. and uh yeah so and also i actually need like my for my cheer team um they need to tell you what to wear like so they told me okay first your cheer shoes which i'm i mostly got mine at adele at Mo models um they are some most of them are 80 dollars they are expensive but they work good they're really comfy they're light they need to be for ours like you know it needs to be white all cheer shoes are white now we would we're supposed to wear we are supposed to wear these one second uh, we are supposed to wear wear these These Sophie black shorts. You could have holes in them, but I prefer not. And you know they fold so Sophie. I got these at Denny's. They're very. They weren't much. They're only. Let me see. They were only eight dollars each. But you can. But Denny's is a very expensive store, so you could get less at other places like Models. <laughs> Um, at Models, um, I have a red, like, or Justice, you could have, like, a tank. Like, I'm supposed to have red, but I'm not gonna go get my red right now. Uh. Yeah, that. Sophie, if you want, but you could, you shouldn't do, like, um, one, like, a sugar lip that's, like, like that would like you know like really tight that's really tight on your body because you kind of you need it like it needs to um go a little over your torso like up to your butt kind of yeah so now um and now i will give you yeah that's it for the um what you need for your What's it called? For I'm losing my mind. For what you need for us to wear practice. Now I do have some things I need. Okay, one. If you're gonna be a flyer, know how to do a scorpion and a heel stretch, which I will show you that. Uh, let me. One second. I need to place this somewhere. Yeah, I'm using the camera. Yeah, honestly, I'll just... I'm not sure. I'll first see if this will work. If you can see me. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> hmm. One second. Okay. I think that this will work. I hope. <laughs> I hope this to I really hope this works. Okay. If you're blind, I would uh afraid you don't see this because you probably won't see it at all. Okay. <laughs> no, how do you do your sp scorpion? Honestly, I'm not that good at scorpion. But if you're a fly, you must need to know how to do a heel stretch, which is that. 
And if you're like advanced, well, I'm I'm advanced because I'm like you know competition, but I'm not that good. Like when you do that, and then when you do heel stretch, and that like when a person's like holding you, like when you're like up in the air. And I also know, and you need to know how to do a scorpion, which I'm not very good at scorpion. Like I'm not stretched at all. Uh, I'm not stretched. I could do a scorpion better, but I'm not stretched at all. <laughs> yeah, and um, let me check. Okay, and um, two. If you're new, like really, really new, and it's your first time ever, and all the girls already had friends. Okay, listen. Try your best. Like you need to definitely listen. You need to, like, try to make friends, like, be nice, be friendly. Don't be mean, like, somebody's mean to you, just ignore them, but if they keep on being mean to you and make fun of you, that never happens to me, but I've seen it happen to some girls. If that happens, tell your coach, then maybe they'll, like, sit down or make them like do push-ups that's what they make them do push-ups yeah um oh yeah yeah make friends but no chatting while practicing because you could because in hours you would get kicked off the team um and also uh one beyond time beyond time definitely because for us you would um like we have this mark like if you don't really listen to it, um, you would get, like, you, like, your whole team, your whole group of, like, when, um, I'm the flyer. If you're going to be a flyer, you need to do scorpion. If you're going to be a bait, oh, yeah, and also if you're a flyer, you need to, like, be small. Like, um, like, I'm pretty, sh like, I'm pretty tall, but, like, I'm not the tallest because there's, like, really older girls. Like, there's older girls. Um, and then there's some young girls, like seven-year-old girls, but they're very advanced, so that's why they're on us. Um, now, um, you need to listen and definitely try your best. Like, if you don't try, oh yeah, um, let me get back to that. Um, um, yeah, you need to be on time, because if you don't be on time, then your whole your whole group, like, who's, like, standing, like, oh, five some or something, like, they all need to sit down, and they'll probably, the next time, they'll probably be mad when you show up the next time, or, or if you're late, like, because the whole team, the whole, like, group would be, would get in trouble because of me, but I've never really been late at all. I mostly come, like, earlier just to watch and then once it's my once like to watch the like the little girls do their gymnastics because at my gym there's parkour gymnastics cheerleading um yeah um competition gymnastics and uh, there's yeah but for chilling there was tryouts you need for the tryouts you need to know how to do a round off a back handspring and a back or you don't need to do a back tuck but if you could then you'll like be on the highest level probably i don't know how to do a back tuck and when i just and when I did my tryout, I've never experienced, like, chilling at all. I, could, I just learned, like, how to do a back handspring. And, uh, yeah. So, a lot of people didn't make it. Um, one of my friends didn't make it from camp. Um, yeah, so, um, also, um... Well, that's pretty much it. Like, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of it. Um, just remember, um, before you do it, like, try to stretch at home if you don't stretch at, like, cheerleading practice. Um, for competitions, the advice is no drama because 
save the drama for your mama. And just be sure to not do that. Like, no drama. Uh, be your best all the time, even at practices. So, one, if you're going to be a flyer, know how to do a scorpion and a heel stretch. Those are the two best things. And you need to know how to do a casket. Uh, I can't really explain it. Um, and two, listen, try to make, be friendly and make, try to make friends, but no chatting while practicing. Be on time, be on time, listen, and try your hardest and best. And you must know round off. If you're like really, really advanced like me, you need to know how to do a back handspring and a front walkover. So, um, and remember, um, yeah, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do your cheer makeup. So tune back in at the Lexi Lou Show. Thank you. Bye.